Joining me now is Drew Zimmerman, CEO of Stallion Uranium. Great to see you in person, sir. Yeah, thanks for having me, Mark. So we talked a few months ago, and uh, for those who may not have seen that, can you remind us of uh, Stallion's strategy of going big in the, the southwestern part of the Athabasca Basin? Absolutely. So behind Stallion, we've got a team that's had a lot of success in the Athabasca Basin. We're behind Hathor Exploration, big shareholders of Next Gen Energy Foundational there. So when we stepped into the base, we stepped in big 3,000 square kilometers, and our strategy was to explore that effectively and efficiently to find the best target areas to follow in and drill test with the highest probability of finding the next big discovery in the Athabasca Basin. And that has been our mission, to find the next Cigar Lake, the next MacArthur River, the next Arrow deposit. So we're looking for that big deposit and doing it in the West because we think it's very underexplored, starting big, and working our way through that roadmap to discovery. So very timely today, you've got some news out, a letter of intent to sell your Eastern properties, correct? What's the thinking there? They're non-core, I guess, or? Exactly, so yeah. as I mentioned, we are very focused on the Western side of the base. We think that's where you know our, our attention and efforts need to be paid. So we had three great assets in the Eastern side of the basin, right in the heart of the basin, not on the periphery. And we're able to hopefully transact when we close the definitive on this to a company that will see them progress. In the in the meantime, get cash in the front door, which helps progress our Western Basin focus projects. And we're still going to have significant ownership of this other company. So those Eastern Basin projects in our hands, we're not going to get the attention that they deserved. So we're going to see them progress. We're going to get cash in the door. And we're going to have upside potential with this new company because we also have an NSR on it as well, which could be significant down the road. So it's sort of a win-win all the way around. And we're pretty excited about that. All right, very good. Congratulations. Now, uh, in terms of drilling, you've talked about Appaloosa being a target in, in Q1. What are the plans there? Yeah, so again, from our strategy, starting big, we'd done our regional survey there, and that was one of the key target areas that we saw. So we followed that up on the ground survey. So when you start big and you zoom in, it's a higher resolution survey that's guys on the ground pulling cables. So that survey right now will give us the drilled targets to run our maiden drill program. So it's our most advanced target that we're going after. And again, when we have all these different target areas that we're seeing, we're trying to be the most pragmatic into what is checking the most boxes with all the data that we have available at the, at the moment. And that being said, we have a lot more data continually coming in for more targets, but this was our most advanced and highest priority at that time. So again, advancing it uh, quite quickly towards drill target to a big size. So you also uh, got an exploration permit for Gunter Lake where you've done some geophysics. And uh, this is really interesting because it's essentially adjacent to Next Gen's aero deposit. We all know about the size of that thing and, and what that turned into. So uh, uh, give us the details there. Yeah, our, our Gunter Lake project, again, has a, has a key target that we like on it. It's like the Patterson Lake trend in the Southwest Basin, obviously incredibly prolific. Triple R, Aero, Spitfire. So this is a actually you know, sub-parallel uh, shear that we're seeing or, or conductive trend. And that's our key target that we're calling Coyote on the Gunter Lake. The good thing for us is, is our, our Appaloosa target is a little deeper. It's 13 kilometers east of Shade Creek, so we're, we're talking about 800 meters depth there. But again, Shade Creek's 100 million pounds, not a bad neighbor. But this target is a little bit shallower, about 300 to 350 meters in depth. So that's something that we're continuing to progress. So that will be one of the next targets that when we try and bring up to get drill ready as we move. So as a company uh, with your assets, you've described what you consider massive upside potential. Potentially, you've got the strategic land package, you've got tailwinds in the sector. So can you sum it up for us? Yeah, absolutely. And we've got this big land package, as we talked about, that we're progressing rapidly with these large, efficient regional surveys. We've taken the best target areas that we've found and we'll be progressing those further. Top priority one is towards drill targeting. We're looking to launch that main drill program by the end of February. And a reminder, when these drill programs start in the Athabasca Basin, we had F3 hit a good hole and they went from a 20 million market gap to 150 million market gap in three weeks. Because they're incredibly lucrative places to be drilling and exploring. And I will keep in mind that that was a $45 uranium pull when they drilled that. We're at 105 now. It's, it's you know, who knows? So we're building out this land package that, thinks, that we think gives us incredible opportunities to make that next big discovery. But as we do the work, as we progress, as we create all these target areas, you know, we're giving ourselves multiple shots on net. 
And if we do find this discovery area, we're also proving up a lot of ground that, you know, potentially down the road, if the Athabasca continues to get much more competitive as we're starting to see now with our transaction this morning, you know, we've got a lot of other key target areas that we might be able to look at other optionality as well. So just a lot of ways for us to create value for shareholders as right. we move forward, both in the drill bit, but also in exploration and corporate dev stuff as well. And I love the hockey analogy, shots on net, perfect. <laughs> good job. Always good to know. Yeah. That's right. You got it. You, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. It's I, was, always... I was just thinking that. <laughs> Famous Wayne Gretzky quote. All right. Thanks, Drew. Good stuff. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. Okay. Drew Zimmerman, he is the CEO of Stallion Uranium.